Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Your friendly neighborhood, Coach Pruitt, here with you once again with our daily YouTube video. So this video is going to cover our class activities on Monday and Tuesday, January the 25th and 26th, 2021. So you can see on the screen I have for you guys the daily information, the things that you would see if you were in the building, they would be on the board, and the things that we always drop in the chat at the beginning of class. So our essential question is there, the schedule for today is there, a couple of reminders, and then uh, some links and video clips that you will need or, or potentially want to use today. So for today, we are going to begin our discussion on standard number 10, which is Reconstruction. For the last week or so, we talked about the Civil War itself. Remember that we used our guided notes. We moved through it pretty quickly, and again, the goal is to save some time for the end of the year so we can do more stuff with modern U.S. history. Uh, when we were last together, we were working on the... Um, primary source document task work where you guys were supposed to find your own primary source from the Civil War era and compare it to something in American history. Uh, also, you had an extra credit opportunity. Uh, you were supposed to write a one paragraph uh, response idea summary. I don't really know the right way to phrase it, but basically we said you could write a paragraph about anything from the inauguration uh, and we would give you an extra credit grade for it. So I'm going to begin grading those very shortly. So you can see this is our plan for today. You can look at the schedule. So our essential question, what was the process for Reconstruction? So what we are going to look at is now that the Civil War has ended, the Northern States or the Union or the United States of America has been victorious. How do you bring the Southern States, bring those Southern people and governments back into the United States? How much are they going to be punished? What are their penalties going to be? How do you make this process work? And so that's what we call Reconstruction. And we're going to see that there are two basic forms of Reconstruction, Presidential and Radical Republican. So what we're going to look at today and how we're going to cover this material is we are going to discuss Reconstruction using a PowerPoint that I have uh, in the Tools and Resources page for you guys. We will then work on two task work activities, but they're on the same task work page, if that makes sense. It's one graphic organizer, but two assignments. Um, we're going to compare and contrast radical Republican reconstruction to presidential reconstruction, and then begin our discussion on these Civil War amendments. So a couple of announcements that we need to go over and make sure you guys know about and are aware of. Remember that this Wednesday, just a couple of days from today, uh, is the end of our first semester. So uh, you have until 1 p.m., on Wednesday, let me actually update this on here. Um, let's do that. Um, so the end of first semester is Wednesday. Mr. Burroughs and I have to have our grades in, I believe, bar none, no exceptions by midnight on Wednesday. We will obviously have them in earlier. He and I like to get things done early so we can check and double check and recheck. You have to have any work that you want included in your first semester grade into us by 1 p.m. Guys, please don't put stuff on Canvas. We don't like turning stuff in on Canvas in general, uh, and especially if it's late, we won't get notifications that it's there. So if you've turned anything in on Canvas in the last day or two, you need to email it to Mr. Burroughs and I like we asked originally because we don't get notifications. I won't know to go look for it, and I can't go through all of our Canvas pages and all of our assignments for all of our classes. Just can't do that all the time. Uh, so 1 p.m. this Wednesday, deadline for any late, missing, or makeup work. We have met with everybody. We have conferenced with each individual student, told you where your grade was at, what things were missing, unless you've missed class or unless you've been on the Zoom but haven't actually been paying attention. So uh, the other announcement we need to make is that the 2nd and the 3rd of February are going to be your test over unit number 4. That is a little over a week from now, so we will finish up uh, this week with uh, information about standard number 10, finish up the unit, the content for the unit, have a review slash work day, and then take our test next, uh, I believe it is Tuesday, Wednesday of next week will be your tests. Um, we have the reconstruction PowerPoint here. So this is what we're going to be using today to cover our information. It looks like this, uh, and you can find this in the tools and resources page. We also have our unit number four playlist, which we could use today. You have guided notes. 
Uh, and then towards the end of the playlist, there are about seven videos that I just uploaded this morning. It starts with the crash course reconstruction video and then rolls through. Now, any of these videos are great for information that we're going to cover the next couple of days. You can see that some are a little more brief than others, but none of them are all that long other than the crash course video. Um, so any of these will be great. I will be, of course, dropping those in the chat once we get into uh, our work session towards the end of class when you guys have some independent work time. Like, hey, here's these videos. Go check them out. So let's make sure that we know how to get to all this stuff, and then we will uh, talk about what we're doing, and then we'll wrap it up. Remember, guys, if you go to your Canvas page and you scroll to the second section, the U.S. History Module section, this blue button, Tools and Resources, if you click on that button, it will take you to the Tools and Resources page. Here you find all the information, uh, Google Slides presentations, YouTube playlists for all of our units so far. I know we've already looked at this in a couple of previous videos, but again, just to remind you, we have Google Slides presentations here. Mr. Burroughs and I, Mr. Ames, uh, different U.S. history teachers have made these. We've put them on a list for you. You can search them by title. Very easy and straightforward. There's a link straight to the unit number four playlist. This is where you have your guided notes and all those other videos that I just showed you. We've got some standard eight guided notes and then all of the PowerPoints for this unit. So for this, the next couple of days, we're going to use this reconstruction PowerPoint. So if you want to find the notes that we are going to use in class and discuss in class and I'll have on my screen during class, it is the reconstruction slide. So don't forget that that, uh, that page is there for you guys to give you all the information that you need. Okay. Uh, the other thing that we want to make sure you know is where to find this assignment. So it is going to be in the unit number four module. Now, like I said, it's one graphic organizer, but it's two activities on the same page. So when we get into class stuff for today, we're going to go to the unit number four module. Click here. That's going to take us into our module. And we are going to be working on this activity, sorry, uh, we are going to work first, sorry, on this activity, the Venn diagram. So scratch what I said. I thought that I put these on the same page, but I'm slightly different. All right, so we're going to talk about the Venn diagram first. So we'll need to open up this activity here. Uh, good old Venn diagram, right, two circles where you compare stuff. Now, guys, you can obviously download this just like we always give you the option. Save it as an electronic file to in your, uh, you know, computer, laptop, device, whatever. Or you can uh, copy and paste this into a Microsoft Word or Google Doc, a blank one. Or you can draw it by hand, and just as long as yours looks like mine. Okay. So as we begin our discussion today on presidential and radical Republican Reconstruction, we will be filling in these circles for this Venn diagram using our notes and the things that we discuss. Obviously, you guys know how to do a Venn diagram. Anything that talks about presidential reconstruction will go here. Anything about radical Republicans here. And anything they have in common will go in the middle. This part of the organizer we will do next time we are together. So we will just do the Venn diagram. We will do this activity in class together as notes. So as long as you're following along and filling in and doing what you're supposed to do when we do it as a group, this one will be done. We are then going to need to go back into the unit number four module for the last part of class today. And again, guys, that's a very straightforward, easy assignment. I'm not going to go too in depth with the instructions. Even if you're working on your own outside of class time or you miss class, use the PowerPoint and then just find information about presidential reconstruction versus radical Republican reconstruction. And you can see it's a very straightforward PowerPoint. So towards the back half of class, what we are going to work on is the Civil War Amendments and Resistance Organizer. So if you click here, again, we have a downloadable version. You can save it to your device, edit it, type on it, highlight it, do whatever. You can copy and paste this into a blank Microsoft Word or Google Doc, or you can draw it out by hand. We're going to do this first activity here where we talk about the three Civil War Amendments. So what we are going to do is just literally look at what numbers were the amendments, we're going to give it a title or what it is about. We're going to talk about what it did, why it was passed, and then why Southerners might have opposed it. So what we're going to see with the Civil War Amendments is that, uh, unfortunately, Southern governments, Southern people are not going to want to give equal rights to African Americans even after the war is over. And so Congress and the U.S. government tries to force this by passing several amendments. 
But what, unfortunately, again, we're going to see is that the southern governments are going to find the loopholes. They are going to find a way around just about all of these things. So this will be the assignment you guys will do independently. You'll do this asynchronously on your own. You'll have the videos and the PowerPoint uh, to use to find the information. All right, so let's wrap up for today. So for Monday and Tuesday, the 25th and the 26th, we are beginning our discussion on standard number 10, which is all about reconstruction. Your assignment, we will work together to fill in a Venn diagram about uh, radical Republican versus presidential reconstruction. We will then have the back half of class or so for some asynchronous work time. You guys will use the video clips that we have given you as well as the PowerPoint that we have given you. And I'll put this in the chat. Um, obviously, if you're not here, you'll just have to uh, access it. And I showed you how to find these things already. These are in the unit number four playlist. This is in the tools and resources page. Uh, and we will be figuring out, writing down, and recording information about these Civil War amendments. Uh, don't forget, in the first semester is Wednesday, so we got to have any and all grades before 1 o'clock on Wednesday. That is this Wednesday. And also remember your test is scheduled for next week, which also means our task work will be due next week. Um, we'll have a work day Friday slash Monday. Have a great rest of your day, guys. As always, if you need anything, send us a remind message, send us an email. We love you guys. We'll see you in class.